Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the exciting world of Fallout. Uh, it's been a couple weeks been a, since uh, I released anything on my channel. Uh, I'm sorry for those of you who've been like chomping at the bit for new Bing Deadpool. And I know there are only a couple of you at this point. In the last episode, we finished our quest for water, and we found out there's a much larger threat apparently in the wastelands and that is a super mutant problem apparently oh no you see several rats running towards you it's a good thing I'm still carrying my knife and you shall die there we go uh, in this episode uh, my plan is to go to the hub and see what adventures uh, lie in wait. Come at me, rats. No? You're fucking douchewads. How much is that? Five? Jesus Christ, I'm only gonna be able to swing it at once. Stupid rat. I don't like you. Come on. Just die. There we go. I'm only going to be able to hit this one once, if I hit it. And swing and a miss. I got three swings, I'll swing all day at you. All day up in this beast. Oh. Rat was critically hit for three points, seriously wounding the rat and knocking it to the ground. It should be a lot easier to just stab. And kill. Come on. Good God. It's like freaking super rat. Or something. You know? That was crazy. So, without taking a scratch, I got around 100 experience points. It's not bad. It's not bad. Now, continue our path to the hub. Trying to find whatever sort of um, adventure we could find in the hub. Jeez. Two encounters. Uh oh. Ouch. Okay. Okay. What? A oh god, no. Alright, I only have two shots with that. It means I'm gonna have to fucking use this. And I'm gonna have to run this way first. I'm gonna try and do this a little bit more. Strategic than I have the other um, Rad Scorp fights I've been in. Blam! 14 points. I'm just, uh, all I'm hoping is that they don't hit me. If I can just like outmaneuver them. Ugh. Let's see if I uh, I might get hit once. And that was too much move, actually. So I will use the rest of my move since I botched that round to go up here. Making it a little bit easier for me to just run. And, oh. Got one less scorpion to deal with at this particular point in time. Nice. Let's see if I can go this way and not get hit. I might, though. Eh. It's only one. It's only one. It's okay. That's a okay. We're gonna fire at you. And we're gonna move forward this way. Because you'll be able to hit me. The other one won't. Blam! Take that to your scorpion like base. And this one might hit me. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've been taking. I've been instigated the other one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Fire you. Ah. You know, they make the hit look good. They make they make me look good. Let's go this way a little bit. He's gonna hit me. The other one is probably gonna waste his move to get to me. Yes, thank God. And I will fire you one more time. Come on, blam. Yes, in your scorpion-like face. You're not dead yet. Damn it. 
Run this way a little bit more. Get hit once. Ow, that was a pretty strong hit. Ow, stop hitting me. I've been actually playing... Oh my god. It's got one hit point left. That's that's terrible. Um, but I've been playing a paper, pen and paper game on my off time on Sundays uh, called Darwin's World. And it's essentially a Fallout game. They have this feat in there called Rip a Clip, which is, a, you know, if you play, uh, Third, if you play uh, third edition D and D, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, it's like the cleave feat. Ow! Whoa! All right, that just ticked me off. You're fucking dead. All right, ouch. <coughs> but essentially. For those of you who don't know what the cleave feed is, uh, it would allow me to fire another shot at an enemy after I killed an enemy. It's, it's pretty nasty feat. And I'm actually playing uh, a ghoul. They don't have ghouls in the game itself, but... Uh, We made a template, me and DM made a template for it, so that way I could play as a ghoul. And I'm pretty, at this point, I'm essentially their sniper, you know, which is, which is cool. Uh, we've started making, uh, preparing a town, pretty much, establishing a town. It's been really fun, it's uh, been our latest, like, overall story arc. Because uh, when I came in, they were trying to take down some freaking raider, raider guy, and they were doing all right from what I saw. Yeah, actually, uh, on a, a lot of my off time, we play different types of games. Um, like Saturdays are usually uh, dedicated to like tabletop board games. And, uh, okay. Uh, tabletop board games and, um, card games. Usually things that you would see on tabletop channel on YouTube or, uh, on table flip. Different things like that. A couple times I've actually done live streams of it. And it's been... It's been fun. Uh, at some point, I would like to do another live stream because sometimes those games get extremely fun and chaotic. And depending on what game we're playing and what roles or what happens, just things spiral sometimes out of control. Just like everybody, just silliness wise. One of the games we've been playing recently on our board game day has been uh, Betrayal at the House on the Hill which if you haven't played that it's an amazing game so much replay value it has over like 50 different scenarios in the game itself which is insane another one that we play occasionally is Ticket to Ride uh, I want to go to downtown. Um, Star Flux, uh, Cthulhu Flux is one that we've been playing a little bit too. Ooh, Crimson Caravans. They were featured in Fallout New Vegas. But, um, what's another couple games that we play? Uh, I have Pandemic. Game Pandemic with uh, the expansions. Which is, well, one of the expansions. I'm still waiting on the other one. Um, there's a third one that I have. Small World. Oh, Small World is so fun. Uh, 
Hey there, how you doing? My name is Dimitri, Dimitri Herma, head of the best damn caravan in the waste. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty fit. Yeah, so? Well, that's what we're looking for. You like the thrill of the excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemy in two, seeking, seeing the fear in their eyes. Oh, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well, and we pay well. Oh, well. <laughs> what? <laughs> you could serve us well, and we pay well. Oh, yes, we do. We just had a few openings, if you're interested. But of course you are, alright? What's the pay? Keeping with my mercenary-like character, we pay 600 hub bucks on a, a job. That's each way. Hell, people say we we take dangerous routes, but I say they're the most exciting. We need a little excitement in, in your life. Am I right? Of course I am. Um, hell, I think that's just what I'm looking for. Damn straight it is. Just go talk to Carrie in the next room. She'll let, us kn she'll let you know when the next caravan's leaving. I'm not done actually talking to you. I want to barter. I want some of your things. What do you have? <sighs> the only thing of really worth to me would be these. And your caps. So. Let's see what he'll give me for that. That's perfect. Bam. Right there. You can have all my flares for your caps. And the, uh stem packs that you had. It's amazing. I love you. You're my new best friend. I need to go through this door apparently and talk to Carrie. I'm gonna carry. Carrie's her name. So that old bastard gave you the okay to work for us, eh? Well, you must have balls of steel. I'm impressed, but we'll see what how you can do. We'll leave, we leave only twice a month on the 3rd and the 17th. Can you handle that? We'll go to all the local hot spots. Brotherhood of Steel, Junktown, Acropolis, and the Boneyard. And what's the pay? Our pay is the best. 600 scripts? And yes, that's e for each way. But you don't have to do both. This is a pretty tough caravan ride. And you're almost guaranteed to run into some raiders. Or worse. We'll have no sissies on my caravan, and you better have plenty of ammo. We'll leave on this February 17th. Are you interested? Actually, I kinda am. Cool, next one's going out February 17th. Come back then, and I'll put you on a caravan. As always, pay 600 scripts. Okay. And what is today? 15th. Okay, so... I've got a couple days to kill, I guess. Um. Boom, ba -de boom. The general store there. You know, I'm sure they won't have much, but I might as well check the general store. Boom, ba -doom. Who are you, you little guy? How may I help you today? Like to buy some things. Great, here's what I have. Wow, what the heck is that? A Geiger counter. Oh! I could kind of use that. What's this? A motion sensor? What's this? It's a big book of signs. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Dean's Electronics, First Aid Book, Scout's Handbook, we had one of those earlier, Psycho, Super Stem, Rope, Nuka's, Nuka Cola, Tool, Radio, Rat Away, what's this? Flamethrower Fuel and a crap load of caps. You know what? Let's see, what do we got? Dean's Electronics, it's First aid book, big book of science. Ugh. I'm 
You know what? Dean's Electronics. The Book of Science of... Let's fucking take that and that. Uh, it's going to help me immensely, though. I re really get the feeling that that's going to help me a lot. You know what? You can have my knife. No, no, you can't have my knife. <laughs> I, I'm an Indian giver. Sorry. Mentats? Mentats. There we go. That's a good trade. Boom, boom, boom. See, Mitch of the all in one store. Okay. Let me see something now. I've got a couple things here, apparently. Did they go into my inventory? They did. Lots of electronics detects movement of a biological na nature over distance of meters using tuned radar device. Weighs seven pounds. The Geiger counter. I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep those. I think it's time to do some reading, to be honest. I need to do stuff, so. Let's study the out of the big book of science. You learn new science information. Up my sciencings. Should have checked it beforehand. But anyway, um, what's the other one that I got? Dean's Electronics. Okay, that should be repair, which is 30%. So, let's see, 30%. And now, 37 it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, now uh, back to our inventory. Inventory. We need to put this on and this on. Okay, so Scouts 1, I believe that was for like traps and sneak. So 34 and 27. 2734. Hmm. Must have brought up my wilderness. That's okay. That's cool. For my survival, whatever it is. Uh, first aid is 65 and 25 for doctor. So, let's see what it's gonna be after this book. This first aid book. 25 and 68. <laughs> Eh, not bad. Okay, I guess. Alright, let's see. FLC. I don't know what this is. They're just letting me walk in, though. I've seen a lot of people that look like... Oh, that look like Ian. What's this guy's name? Lorenzo? Well, if he's a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo the Magnificent. At your service. I give out loans. Only 10% daily interest. A maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution anywhere in the hub. Um, you sound like a rip-off artist to me. Guido, Leon, why don't you show him what ripping off really means? Start with his arms. Shit. Alright, alright, Pally. Apparently, I just pissed off some people. That hurt. So, I might die. I'm probably going to die. Ouch. Okay. Whoa! And kind of move away a little bit. Move here in the hopes that he hits his own boss. Come on, hit your own boss. Don't hit me. Oh no, 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 no. That's right, you better fucking die. 
use a stem pack on myself. And I'm dead. God damn it. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this world. Yeah, gee, thanks, Ron Perlman. Okay, so, note to self, don't fuck with Lorenzo. Uh, on my way back to the hub after reloading, I found a wandering merchant, apparently. Not drunk, it's trade goods. So what's your story? I wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering work. What kind of work do you do? Mostly a little electrical and mechanical tinkering. I help junk, junk town with their lights and show the people of Shady Sands a better design for their stoves. What kind of music do you sing? Oh, uh, mostly old folk songs, some Celtic music. It's a, it's a change of pace. Sure. Kind of interested on hearing the song. Patrick sings songs, and the two of you reminisce for several hours. You feel invigorated. I like that. That's awesome. I'm not done with you, though. Um, because I want to barter with you. If you have trade goods, I want to see them. You don't have dick! That's a bunch of frickin' lies. <sighs> this merchant is just a web of lies. No, never mind, thanks. Get out of my face! Unless I can go rummaging through his stuff. Oh, I can. Maybe he's like, what the fuck, man? Be like, what? We just shared hours. We just fucking had hours and we did stuff. We we bonded. This stuff's mine now. What's this? Beer, apparently. That can come in handy. And nukas. What else you got? Cart. Rug. Finally crafted clay pot. Trash. Nope, nothing else. Okay, let's get the fudge up on out of here. Fifteen. Sixteen. I might make it there the day of the freaking caravan. Oh, right outside of the hub, apparently. We're meeting some hub guards. Okay, I've encountered these guys before, so I don't really need to say hi to them this time. I'm just going to give me like little bits of teasing like information on the hub I guess yeah oh no 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 oh <laughs> fucking calm your tits there bud all right we want to go downtown now what time is it what day is it what's going on it is the 17th Holy crap, it is most of the day through the 17th. We're gonna go get our mission started here for this area. This Ian lookalike guy is gonna pretty much get me started on it. And uh, I'm pretty much gonna set up the next mission I'm gonna do. Now, if I fucking die over and over again doing that, that'll be, I guess, the episode of death. But, so, in the next episode, whoa, I'm getting kind of trigger happy there, apparently. Um, I'm going to do a mission for the Crimson Caravan. Uh, or at least I'm going to try. Uh, but, that's in the next episode. Uh, I've been kind of wanting to do some other things. Also, um, there are a couple other games I've gotten on my computer uh... I'm gonna do the Brotherhood of Steel oh 
I didn't mean to, like, jump right into it. Well, okay. Let me just do this. And, uh... We'll, uh, bring it up here. Alright, so, to the Brotherhoods. Um, so... If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Thank you for watching. I'm Bink Deadpool, and we will see each other in the next episode. Till then, peace out.